All right. So, a few people wanted to know, what do I think about Rafael Jockey's no name being on, well, being serialized officially? Now, I am the only person alive who made a video about no name when it first came about. I am the only person alive who spoke about how no name got a gold on Manga Plus creators and how it made absolutely no sense. The people who came in the comments and said it got a gold because it's a great story could not prove to me what made it a great story, could not give me a single sentence what makes a good story, could not refer to any scene, to any word, to any statement in the story of no name that actually deems it a good story. And why is that? It's because these people are not reading things because it's actually good or not. They're not. They just want something that's going to, well, uh, give them the most dopamine. And No Name has a very cool aesthetic that reminds them of something popular. Now, you know here at Coffee Comics is that there's a standard of judgment. And how we judge things is according to the mana ingredients. And that whoever uh, abides by these ingredients is somebody who will have a quality product. Now, No Name is definitely, on the first one shot, it is not hopeful, it is not inspiring, and it's not relatable, but it is familiar. It gave the vibes of uh, Psychopaths, it gave the vibes of Ghost in the Shell, it gave the vibes of a lot of popular sci-fi thriller sort of anime and manga, right? And perhaps that gave people enough hope that, oh, this has the potential to be a great story well guess what who guess who has the potential and who actually had a great story right there are two people on manga plus who deserve to get a gold who deserve to get civil uh, serialization it is not rafael jockey i'm sorry rafael if you're watching this bro please stop lying we all know why you got this we know why you got this you're the guy who worked on cyberpunk edge runners on netflix you're the guy on your website right here, rafatarjaki.com, creative and business development professional. For more than a decade, I've been working in the entertainment and video game industries. I specialize in business, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have a high level uh, creator and writer who's been in the industry for more than a decade and who created one of Netflix dopest hard-hitting anime series ever uh cyberpunk edge runners you mean to tell me someone like him and his track record would be ignored by shueisha do you not understand that clearly these companies are not willing to bet on rookies anymore they want to bet on people who have a clear portfolio right they are not going to take chances on newbies anymore. They want someone who's proven themselves, right? And for you to say, well, I can prove myself also. Okay, do it, bro, but you're not there yet. You're not there yet. And if you think uh, the world is a fair place, it's definitely less fair now than ever. Uh, good luck to you. You see, this channel is for people who are sick of the delusions, sick of the lies, right? Someone, for people who've been smelling something off, that now nah, something's weird here. Manga Plus creators does not make sense. What actually makes uh, a manga qualify for a gold, a bronze, or a silver? What exactly do people need to get a gold? To this day, nobody can tell me why this thing got a gold. No one, none of you. None of you who said this thing is good. You can't tell me why it's good. I told you these two characters are idiots. They killed a very important character, which was the woman in the story who got who was running away from the abusive husband because the husband wanted a kid, and they shot that woman, right? And they are pretty slow and dim-witted, and then they only find out later they are not likable, they are not relatable, they are not inspiring. There is nothing about the main cast of this manga that makes me want to continue reading it at all, you see? So without that, it means it has no hook. It has no hook for me. But if you hunchbacks are going to be out here and say, no, it's wonderful, it's amazing, 
You're not betting on the substance. You're betting on the potential, right? But let me show you what has uh, substance, not just potential. Forget potential, in fact. Remember, remember uh, Yas Yasim for manga? I interviewed him. He has his manga, which we find on Manga Plus uh, creators, Justice in the Wasteland and The Human Eradicator. Now, I haven't read The Human Eradicator, but this one. This one has 348,000 views. Now, we know that the numbers are inflated. The views are inflated. We did the maths. Everybody who's still talking crap saying, no, that's not true. Go watch the video. We did the maths. Manga Plus Creators is lying. There's no way in hell that uh, Justice in the Wasteland got more views than uh, any popular thing on Shonen Jump itself. In fact, let's even go to Manga Plus right now to prove my point. Because how is it that if we were to look at Benny Shoga over here, who also had his series on Manga Plus, he won a, uh, a bronze. If you look at the views here on the main site of Manga Plus versus on Manga Plus creators, they don't add up. They don't add up because of the number of comments as well. So it looks like here, the views are hidden. I wonder why. I wonder why they're hidden. But anyway, let's look at the hardest right now. So you mean to tell me that Justice in the Wasteland has 348,000 views, right? And uh, One Piece has 337,000 views. Does that make any sense to you? Now, don't get me wrong, Yasim is great. It's a great story, but you see, we're realistic here. We're not lying to ourselves. There is absolutely no way that an indie manga on Manga Plus creators in which real manga consumers barely go on onto uh, has more views than One Piece. It's not possible. It has more views than My Hero Academia, than Kaiju, than Spy Family. There's absolutely no way. Than Sakamoto days? Kagurabashi? Dun da dun? It's absolutely impossible. And if you're going to say, no, it is possible, then you know you're lying. I hope you realize that. I hope you know that you're a lying piece of trash who is so desperate for their illusion to be so real because it's the only reason you're not trying to blow your brains out. Right? Always chasing a fantasy. I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. So, Justice in the Wasteland, it has them ingredients. It has the ingredients right here. Right? It's familiar because it reminds me of Fist of the North Star. Right? It's relatable because the setting it takes place post-apocalypse. Not that I live in a post-apocalypse. But the moral decisions that one has to make. You have to make tough decisions in a tough place. I live in a tough place, you see, and I understand the tough decisions that need to be taken sometimes. Sacrifices have to be made. Casualties will be plenty because you just have to make a hard choice. You can't save everybody in such an environment. It is relatable. It's hopeful because the main character of the story is not a bloodthirsty monster, but actually wants something better. And it is inspiring because despite the misery of the environment, they still pursue injustice. That's why it's called Justice in the Wasteland. It ticks all four boxes, but you can't tell me how in the hell this thing ticks any of the four except just one, the fact that it's familiar. This is how you properly judge a product a story for it to be good but every retarded hunchback who just want to fight and say no you don't know what i'm talking about bro you can't even articulate anything i said you can't even talk about anything i just said none of you hunchbacks who've been hating have ever made a video deconstructing word by word the things i say nor deconstructing my own product if i suck that badly why don't you make a video about how much i suck Make a video, take my, my mana bloody hell and deconstruct it. Do it. But you're not going to do it because you can't do it. You're too retarded and you can't do it because it's actually good. Now, another thing that uh, beats 
no name is is Benny Shoga's apple to orange. In fact, let's search for Benny Shoga right here. So we see how many views he got. We want the evidence. We don't want to just stick, stay in delusions. No, we are not interested in that. Oh my word. Benny Shoga got 1 million views. His apple to orange got 1 million views, but it got a bronze. It got a bronze. You see what I'm saying? Diddy Mark has always gotten bronze despite getting millions of fake views, right? But at the end of the day, uh, he only gets bronze. And why is that? Why is that? Why can't he get uh, anything better? We don't know. We don't know. Aside from the fact that he's a bad storyteller, right? So at, at the end of the day, Benny Shoga's apple to orange got 1 million. And then the views where they should be shown is somehow blocked over here. How many comments did he get here? Let's see, shall we? Now, they're going to be some hunchback, dead in the brain, retard, but like, oh, man, you're just glazing. Oh, man, you're just hating. Oh, man, nah, bro, you're just stupid. You're just too slow. All you can do is just talk smack, talk back, but you can't really argue. You can't really rebuttal me, right? So this got 1 million views by 105 comments. This got, I don't know how many views, but it got 133 comments. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. These two manga right here, they deserve a uh, Rafal Jockey spot. The only reason Rafal got this is because it's Rafal Jockey. That's all there is to it. There is no other reason. This is, uh, this is nepotism. In fact, it's not. It's just business. They're not going to take a chance on something completely new. They're not going to take a chance on somebody they don't know. Rafal has been in the game for 10 years. He had a successful series on Netflix. Who do you, Shueisha is a business. So to the dipstick, who we like, this dipstick Icaro, you know, the sad thing about this moron here is that, bruh, I saluted you in your effort in creating that black Harry Potter manga that you did, right? I gave you a pass, but now I'm not gonna give you a pass because I see you dead in the brain. And it looks like you're too much of a sissy ass nigga, right? To mention me straight up right here. Just by saying, and some dog was calling Manga Plus a scam. You just gotta produce good manga, nothing more, nothing less. No nigga. Yasim for manga. He does way better manga than you and Rafal. Uh, Benny Shoga, they, he does better manga than you and Rafal. So how come they didn't get a deal? You want to believe the lie. You want to. You want to believe the lie, right? And you are a sissy, bro. You don't want to say my name. Say it. Say my name. Say my name, Akairo. Right, but you can't, you a sissy. You just want to play it safe all the time. Do you think these companies need you? The problem, all these hunchback, the, the mistake, not even mistake, I don't know what to call it. The retarded move that all these hunchbacks are doing is that they think by being nice, magically, they will be accepted one day. No, you are in a dungeon, given false hope. And now that you've been given a uh, no name here as look, no name got a deal. It has given you hope and reassurance that it's possible for you. Well, I don't see no evidence that it is possible because the two people who definitely deserved, right? Who definitely deserved a spot at the top are right here. Are right here, but they didn't get anything. They didn't get anything, right? They just keep getting a bronze. What are the requirements to get a gold? You don't know, and you don't know for a reason. They keep shifting the goalpost. In fact, there is no goalpost. They just tell you to kick a ball in any direction, hope it lands in a goalpost, in a basket, in a bucket, in a hole. Just keep kicking blindly. Keep working yourself to death in this dungeon. 
and keep getting all your fans on your Twitter, on your Instagram to flood on Manga Plus creators so they can make more money from your fan base thanks to the traffic that you are driving. I will no longer have mercy on such retards. Y'all will drop dead in this dungeon and I don't give a damn. You know, I don't care because I be doing my own thing. I told people that the way forward now is to establish your tribe, but you still want to fondle the testicles of Shueisha and Viz Media. Speaking of Viz Media, there's this dumb whore who thinks is a man, but she's a female who wants to cut off her boobs. And she here, right, in response to Mr. Aikara over here, she says he sadly won't care. It'll make him dig his heels in deeper. He's already using the one-shot program as a way to mark Shueisha as bankrupt and Viz as woke. Dunning-Kruger effect in a real time. Didn't understand how Mark can be doing uh, DH and Dark Horse and Viz, though he had to be exclusive. Well, I don't even understand how that's working, but whatever. And then he, she says, he also mocked how Hisashi-san spoke, saying he sounds robotic and used the script like, bitch, where did I say that? Somebody se send me the, the, the clip where I said that. Where did I say that? Where did I say that? You see, people like this, they have to lie in order for people to listen to them. They have to sell you an illusion for people to listen to them. I never said this. You cannot dismantle anything I've actually said. So you have to lie about me. I didn't make fun of Hisashi. For what reason? I made fun of his accent. Are you, are you insane? For what? Where's the evidence? English isn't his first language. Dude is also, dude also got an accent, yet nobody mocks him for it because that's a uh, iffy thing to do. Man has zero chill, zero compassion, no empathy. At least I'm not a liar, you dumb, disgusting, mentally ill whore. Man, guns blazing today. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. Not because about Rafal making it. I could care less. It's just, I got screwed over. So I needed somebody to punch. So we're having a roast session. We're roasting Art Crumbs, the lying whore, and Icaro, the testicle-licking idiot. You people keep watching my stuff. Yet I know you are crumbs. You block me on everything. You block me on everything. You out here on all the other discords telling everybody how you could beat me in a debate. And then when I approached you, what did you do? You pretended like you never said such a thing. When I got the screenshots to prove that you were talking smack. Look, you want to cut off your, your boobs so you can be a man? Well, you're going to have to grow a real pair first, okay? so you can be brave. But if you couldn't come to me directly when I came to you directly, all you gotta do is lie as you're lying here and just keep talking the nonsense that you're talking, then okay, you're not, you'll never be a man, sorry. Most men today have no testicles anyways. They gave it to mama, right? Oh, like Icaro, you have no testicles, boy. Hmm? If you did, you would've said my name right here. Say my name, boy. You ain't gonna say it, right? All the haters who are up on this channel, always clicking and watching. Why, if you hate me so much? Why, if I'm full of crap, why do you keep watching? Why do you keep clicking? You have nothing else going for yourself. You can't produce half the material I've produced in my product. You can't produce a quarter of what Yasim or Benny Shoga has done. All you people just want to rub the testicles of somebody like Didi Mark or Shueisha because maybe they could give you a deal. Maybe they can give you an opportunity. You're playing the rat. Teacher's pet, pet rat. That maybe one day you'll be rewarded for your pathetic loyalty to delusions. And do you think that Shueisha doesn't know what it's doing? They know exactly what they're doing. You're playing nice nice to people who know that they are exploiting you. The only thing they can do is laugh at you or have sheer disgust at how dumb you are. You know, it's so sad that this community is totally jacked. Heck, I even saw 
uh, Tyler go hand to hand combat with uh, what's his name? What is that guy's name? Naomi Comics. So one thing is for sure, this community is filled with all sorts of drama, you know, and Coffee Comics has been the one to expose this drama. Coffee Comics has been the one to let everybody know that you're not crazy when you're thinking that something is off. It ain't making sense, right? How can this that got a million not get uh, published? Did he mark of all people? Why didn't Diddy Mark get a goal? Hmm? He got two, three million on his Ruthless Render, right? Right? Why didn't he get a goal? Not even, not even No Name got three million views. So what happened? What happened? Something ain't making sense. I am not wrong in having these suspicions. I am not wrong in having these conclusions. But the people who are wrong are they who have fake conclusions because it suits their desperate attempt to be part of something big. And unfortunately, the Japanese don't need you, man. They made it clear they don't need you. Okay? They don't need you. And again, everything that is judged here is judged by the standard. It's judged by the standard. And no name falls short of it all of you, i remember those comments i remember each and every one of you who said no name is a good manga you couldn't tell me why you couldn't tell me why and even right now you will be unable to do so none of you is going to make a video talking about this none of you you don't have the balls to do it right even Art Crumbs herself, who has a YouTube channel, it's like, woman, why, why don't you just do it? Hmm? Why don't you just do it? What's wrong with you? Make a video, right, proving me wrong. I did, but you're not going to do it. Anyways, uh, No Name does not deserve to be serialized. I'm sorry, it doesn't. This was just a business transaction. So, oh, Rafal, oh. Netflix guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's put him in. Yeah, no problem. Let's put him in. He didn't play fair. It's not fair anymore. You don't earn your way in, right? You pay your way in either with real hot, hard, cold cash or you pay it with the reputation you got. You see, with Diddy Mark, does he have a chance? It doesn't really matter if he has a chance or not, but does he have a chance? He does. Why? Diddy Mark has the best chance out of everybody in the manga indie community why because he can outwork everyone Didi Mark's biggest advantage is that he has stamina he can dish out content can't pay close attention to what i'm saying content very quickly and very efficiently he is a machine so he is of value to big corporations who want uh machines pumping out endless content with no questions asked that's what they want and diddy mark fits the bill there is no one else who can uh produce content to the level that diddy mark can his quantity game is on another level we don't come close we don't and i don't care because all the energy that i do right i'm putting into something meaningful not something disposable a hunchback in their desperate attempt to defend D.D. Mark's one shot on Viz Media said not everything has to be meaningful. It can just be for the sake of entertainment. So in other words, you agree with me that D.D. Mark creates disposable material. D.D. Mark is going to be used like a drone, like a robot to endlessly dish out multiple experiments endless pieces of doo-doo that have to be thrown at the wall to see what will stick. He will be used for this. And maybe one day he will find something that sticks and he can move forward. But unfortunately, unless they abide by these standards right here, right? It will never be a real heavy hitter or anything truly meaningful. It'll just be something that stuck because it had enough dopamine it had enough of the three primal instincts that were being uh, shown over there, and that's it. 
But ultimately, for something to be a true work of art, it has to have all four of these. Diddy Mark can do one of these, which is the familiarity part, but nothing else. I have said time and time again is that modern stories, uh, they don't create characters that are relatable at all. They don't create characters who know the human condition. They create these perfect beings, these perfect gods that we're just supposed to look up to. But I can't relate with your struggles, bro. How can I overcome my challenges when the main character is already Hokage? How? It doesn't make any sense. You know, the human condition is struggle and overcoming struggle. But if you're going to create gods for main characters who don't have to struggle, but only have to struggle with uh, their pride and ego not being rubbed the right way, then what is this? What are we doing here? How are we helping people? How are we inspiring people? You pathetic degenerates, Art Crumbs and Icairo, you are slugs, ghouls, golems, hunchbacks, and flipping dirt bags that have polluted this craft. You are normies and peasants that never belonged in this community. And you have brought your pathetic hunchback thinking and polluted this craft and given everybody this, this participa participation trophy. It shouldn't be this way. You have to earn your way in. And Rafal did not earn his way in. And all you nut suckers who want to say, no, you can earn your way in. Bro, you yourself defending Manga Plus, you suck Dragon Balls. You can't draw right, bro. You still suck. Art Crumbs, you suck. You straight up suck. Your story sucks. Your art sucks. You're never gonna get anywhere unless you did a deal under the table, right? That's just the truth of it. You suck. A lot of you people who just love promoting this function and love promoting this delusion, you suck, right? You don't want to work hard. You don't want to live by standards. You want to continue believing that your piece of crap will be enough and it will magically be chosen. Nah, dude. It's not. And look at that. Ruthless Render is at 12 million now? Dude, you gotta be joking, bro. The highest one, the one at the very top, Chainsaw Man, is at 500,000. Make it make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. It doesn't. It absolutely does not. It doesn't. But still, you will deny all of this evidence. You will deny everything said here because you are trapped in your own delusion. You want to believe that this Dungeon Manga Plus creators, that Shueisha is your best friend. Guess what, man? Business ain't personal. Being friends some with someone, it means you get personal. But on a business sense, nothing is personal. If they're going to have to lie, cheat, and steal to get you hooked, they're going to do that. Right? They are not your friends. And they don't owe you anything. They don't owe you anything. I've given you the way out. Establish your own tribe. Establish your own tribe. Do your own thing over there. Abide by standards. If you want to have monkey gorilla uh, 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 doo doo standards, okay, I'm sure you can find a little tribe like that, like Niobe Comics, right? I'm sure you can. But if you want to actually be a representative of objective, wholesome standards, then you're going to have to abide by those standards. You're going to have to work hard and elevate. All y'all, all y'all who going to tell me I have no right to talk about Rafal Jockey in this way because my art sucks or my story sucks. Do you have a story? Do you have art? You don't. So you don't have the right to tell me that I can't talk about Rafal because my art sucks compared to his. Your art sucks compared to mine. Most of you don't even draw, worth a damn. So you have no right either. You see how your logic is so retarded? It's called freedom of speech. We'll speak our mind, right? But look, Rafal, you're Rafal jockey. You don't have to care about a damn thing that I'm saying. You're Rafal jockey. Hey, that's why you got the deal, bro. Because your name got power in it, right? 
So I know Rafal don't give a damn about what I'm saying. Who cares are the losers who worship Rafal as if he earned this. Rafal didn't earn it the way everybody is trying to earn it. He earned it because he was in the game a long time ago and we don't know how he actually even got in there. Benny Shoga and Yasim Folmanga, these guys deserve a gold. But you will never know what it takes to get a gold. You'll never know. Okay, Akairo, you will never know. You will never know in what direction you have to kick that ball in because you don't know where the goalpost is. But you will tire yourselves out in this dungeon, kicking the ball endlessly for 10,000 years. All right? And when you're magically given a handout, it's like, yes, let us publish him. Yeah, here you go, bro. Here you are. You're going to celebrate and say, ha, huh, uh, Coffee Comics was wrong. Coffee Comics this, Coffee Comics that. As uh, Art Crumbs is trying over here, that I'm going to dig my heels deeper. Woman, please. Woman, please. I don't really care. But I have to talk about it because, well, a lot of people ask me to. But at the same time, people who paid for it, they asked me to. So at the same time, I just like proving a point that you people are desperate. So desperate for your delusions to be true. There's no way in hell, no way in hell that uh, Ruthless Renner has 12 million views and it's not gold. Because guess what? He got published on Dark Horse because of the fake 2 million views. It was marketed as manga webtoon with 2 million views gets a deal with Dark Horse. Why wouldn't Jump do that? Don't you think Jump would like, whoa, 12 million views? We're gonna get $12 million. Let's put this little nigga up in here so we can get more fans. They didn't because they know how it works. They know how it works. It's just sad that it has to be Coffee Comics to say all these things. So you're gonna shut your ears and not listen to me, but you're always here, you're always watching anyway, you pathetic, worthless hunchback. Ugh. Anyway, guys, you wanna continue believing your delusions? Okay, no problem. Um, but I'm gonna keep exposing the lies because I just cannot live in delusions. I just, I just cannot. Um, should I say congrats to Rafael? Why? It was a done deal. The moment he was successful at flipping Netflix, he shook the hand and jumped anyway. He didn't earn this. You congratulate people who earned it. He didn't earn it the way everybody else is trying to earn it, as I've been saying. So it's up to you what you want to believe by Cairo and Art Crumbs and all the other hunchbacks that want to run around and pretend that these big corporations are your friend. Go ahead, believe your lies, and um, let's see where it gets you. You're not like Didi Mark. Didi Mark outworks all of you combined, right? He has the stamina to make a hundred series without getting tired, but eventually he will get tired. So in his youth, he's using it right, but he's being exploited. But he doesn't mind because, hey, big people are paying attention to him. And it's like, okay, man, uh, when you sell that those 3 million copies and pay off the mortgage, then I'll say, okay, I was totally wrong, you know? Until that happens, because that's the main reason we're doing this. If you wanna be involved with a big corporation, be published with big corporations, because you want big returns. It's because you want to reach an audience that you can't reach on your own in the indie space. It's for big returns so you may be financially free. If that is not the reason you are doing it, then you're only doing it to flex on other people, which is rather pathetic, right? So whatever. Rafal Jockey is Rafal Jockey. And that's why he got the deal.